then all of a sudden it skipped over visually to two girls dressed as monsters who started screaming at me. It's very intimidating. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on those notifications. That helps me out loads. Hopefully that helps you out too because you won't miss these when they go live. Now, today's reaction has been in the plan for a long time. I got this request probably a month ago and um, I'm finally getting around to it. It's a song called Monsters Ball by a group of Butcher Babies. So without further ado, Butcher Babies, Monsters Ball. Let's see what you got. Okay, um, started out super intense, um, really heavy, nice quick snare work, uh, a lot of like um, complimenting of what the guitar and kick drum were doing and then all of a sudden it skipped over visually to two girls dressed as monsters who started screaming at me. It's very intimidating. Okay, I like that guitar work there. I really like how open he is. You'll see his fingers moving really phonetically and he's trying to get those open notes to get the hammer-ons and pull-offs that he wants. Um, very cool, nice riff. There's a lot going on. There's too much going on for 45 seconds of a song. Um, feels a little gimmicky, but uh, there are some nice musical pieces happening, so we can talk about those. Also, their, their screams are quite unique. They are complimentary. Um, the girl on the screen at the moment, I think she's got the lower scream and the other girl's got the higher one. So it's not, I want to say a growl, but it was more of a closed in the mouth screen versus a wider mouth, a lot of air coming out, and that's how you get the higher twist on it. So, um, lots going on. Um, that may be the heaviest cheerleading chance I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Yeah, has to be. Um, I like the change in pace. I like the fact that they slowed it down and it was something more broken up versus constant and kind of full on in your face. Um, and it sounded like that's the first part of the song that sounded like there was a, um, a melody to it, if you will. Everything else is really frenetic and lots going on. And that's kind of what I meant about gimmicky. When, when, when there's too much trying to be crushed in uh, into a song in one bit, and I'm talking about the vocals, the guitar, everything, it feels like, and, and then you mix that with the visuals and it feels like a bit of um, shock value, which I guess it is, and that is, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, heavy song. Yeah. That scream is cool though. You, you can't deny that. That scream is pretty cool. Listen 
listen to um the guitar work there so he starts with the drummer and he starts working with him and then halfway through the cycle he switches to syncopation it's just a nice variation and then that's the si- that's a sign of a smart guitar player realizing that what he's playing is quite simple realizing that it is quite repetitive and anything you can do to freshen it up is just a really good chart no you can't stop moving no you can't stop moving no you can't stop this monster's ball going now. Hang on, just before, there I can definitely hear a lead guitar piece and an undertone in another guitar. I don't know if I, there's another guitarist there or if that's just a studio thing and then maybe when they do it live they have another member. But um, it did add a lot of nice variance to it because it's the first time that that guitar work has gone from you know, it had that one part that had a lead run, but now this is the first time in the song, which is already two and a half minutes in, that's had a traditional lead piece starting to shine, which is quite nice. And if they're going into clean vocals, I'm all for it. The, the, the announcement stuff they're doing, the kind of like ladies and gentlemen announcement stuff, it's cool. It has an impact. It did in the beginning, that's for sure, but it's been done too much. I feel like it's taken away from the song. Those clean vocals were actually quite nice. I wish that that carried on a little bit. I wish that the drummer took that into a more groovy piece where he was just maybe going riding off the off the ride cymbal and just a bit of snare work and made that into uh, a bridge because I think it had flavor to it. It took contrast. It gave this uh, different la- uh, layer of depth, which it was missing before. No, you can't stop moving. No, you can't stop. It's a nice whisper layer. You can't stop moving. No, you can't stop moving. No, you can't stop. Can't stop moving. No, you can't stop moving. No, you can't stop. Can't stop moving. No, you can't stop moving. No, you can't stop. There you go. Uh, that piece is awesome. I like that. That that piece is probably my favorite so far. It's that um, really frenetic guitar work. I like that the double kick was consistent. He's got a nice click on his kick, so sometimes can be confused or misplaced with a snare, but that's the point of that with that kind of thing. It's really busy. Very cool. The scream on top was just like cherry on top of a nice ice cream. It was awesome. That was um, different and intense. Yeah, there were parts of that where I thought, yeah, very cool. I can I can groove along with this. That's really awesome. I wish there was more of the clean stuff in there. Um, visually, you know, audio-wise, very difficult to take in on a first listen because two beautiful ladies. Obviously, you don't expect them to sound like they that they like they do. So that's kind of the shock value. Um, musicians, while you can clearly hear are talented, very talented. I think they know exactly where they need to be to kind of match up with the vocals. So there were areas of complexity, uh, but they were short-lived. And then there were areas, which is the majority of the song, which was more, I don't want to say easy to play because that's not the case at all, but they were more stripped back to allow the shock value, the vocals to shine through. And um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a place for everything. It's not the kind of music I would listen to regularly, but um, I, I'm keen to check out more. It seems like fun. And if the point of it is to be fun, then then there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the world is serious enough. So uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Yeah, definitely felt a bit like gimmicky at parts. You can always tell musically when they try and squeeze so much in so quick and it's trying to show up too much. And it wasn't done in a way that was meant to just be purely shock value and letting the shock value be the hero. It was done in a way where it was still trying to be a traditional song. And that's kind of where you get that feel for it. So. Um, very cool though.
very cool. Um, fun. You know, that chanty bit was really interesting. I haven't heard heavy metal cheerleading before, so that was really cool. Um, they got some serious screams on them, I can tell you that, but definitely would like to investigate that clean vocal a bit more because I think there was something there. Um, enjoyed that one. Hope you did too. Let me know if there's another one you want me to check out. Until the next one, please be safe. Be nice to each other. Never damn. Good day. Mm-hmm.